friend, John McLennan here, and in this lesson, you're going to learn how to play Baby What You Want Me To Do, as recorded by the great Jimmy Reed on guitar. Now, this is a blues in the key of E. We're going to start off using a very common blues shuffle rhythm pattern, but we're going to put a Jimmy Reed twist on it. I'm going to break it down for you note for note, and this is a must-know kind of groove if you want to play at blues jams or just be familiar with a lot of blues recordings. They're going to use this sort of pattern. So I'm going to break it down for you step by step, but before we jump in, if this is the first video of mine you've seen, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the whole guitar neck and it's a really useful just one page PDF I know that sounds like a lot of information but I was able to put it all on one page to keep it simple for you and I want to give it to you completely for free all you got to do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy all right, well, with that said, let's break it down. Let's break down how to play Baby What You Want Me To Do as recorded by Jimmy Reed. Now, we've got this classic shuffle in the key of E. Here's a little bit of what it's going to sound like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's one time around the form there. Now we're going to start off with a very common blues shuffle pattern, but we're going to add just this really cool Jimmy Reed style twist to it. So we're going to start with this. So that's just a open E string and then the second fret on the fifth string. And I'm walking up two, four to five like this. Now those are gonna be played as an eighth note rhythm. We'll count at one and two and three and... Then on beat four, we're gonna play a triplet. We're gonna play. So that's going to be the open low E with the 4th fret of the 5th string. So we come back down, we were on that 5, and we come down 1 fret. Right after that, we're going to pluck the open 4th string. Then we'll do a quick slide here, just a grace note slide, from the 3rd fret to the 4th fret on the low E. You could count it like this, 4 and a. Uh. So one, and two, and three, and four, and a. Uh. So that's going to be played four times. It's one bar long. And then remember that we have four bars of that one chord typically in a just very standard 12-bar blues. Now, as far as the picking goes on that, I'm playing all downs until I get to beat four. Beat four goes down, up, down. So there's only one upstroke in there, and it's on beat four on that second triplet there. So four and, the and of four in the triplet pattern there. There it is, that very classic sounding Jimmy Reed groove there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down one string. Do a little variation here. So now we're going to what we call the four chord. This would be the A chord here. We're gonna play open fifth string and then the second fret on the fourth string. And we'll walk it up just like we did on the one chord. Then we'll play 
Okay, so that's the open fifth string with the fourth fret of the fourth string. Play those two together, then play the open third string, then slide from three to four on the fifth string. Then on the second time we go, and we drop down that slide from three to four is now on the sixth string, which leads us back to what we call the one chord. Because typically in a blues, you'll, you'll have a four chord in the fifth bar, and it'll last for two bars, so. Back to one. Now, in this last bar here, before we go to the five chord, I'm just gonna play a straight blues rhythm pattern like this. Okay, so bars five through eight sound like this. Three, four, and. And all together with the first four bars, it's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. Now we get to the last four bars, the turnaround. We're gonna go to a B7 shape here and just strum eighth notes. Just back and forth with the strum hand. One and two and three and four and... Then we'll play this. Love this part, it's a real down home blues feel here. We're gonna start on that A chord and go. So that's two strums on the A. Then I'm playing three, four, two, open A. Then on the fourth string, four, two. All eighth notes there, one and two and three and four and. Then we have this great lick. This uses something called the blues scale. If you're familiar with your blues scale here in E, just open position. You'll see that these notes are all right there out of that pattern. So we're gonna play the low E then do some hammer-ons here from the open fourth string to the second fret. Do three of them. Then we'll walk down blues scale. That's just open, two, one, open, three. I do a little pull there on that three and then jump up the octave. It's a very common blues sound where you play a a blues leg down the pattern, and then you jump the octave. You know, so. Then we jump back down to the note G on the third fret, and walk up. Now we're like reversing the order, so a second ago we were descending down the scale, and now we're gonna come the opposite direction, ascend the scale. Right, and that walks us into what we call the five chord there, that B7 shape, and that's gonna turn us back around, which is the whole point of this phrase. It's sort of getting us from the end of the form and then resetting us back to the top. So the last four bars sound like this. back to the top. So let's put it all together. Here it is one time through at the very end after that B7. We'll just end on E. One, two, three, four.
have fun jamming this classic Jimmy Reed style guitar part. Remember, it's all about keeping that swing and blues feeling. So what I would recommend doing is going and practicing this along with the recording. Again, it's just a 12 bar blues. So when you get to the end, it just goes back to the top over and over. And you could play solos on this or you could sing on top of it and have a lot of fun just playing the blues. And to help you even more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use for mapping out the entire fretboard. And that's gonna come in really handy for not only just understanding the guitar neck more, but especially too, if you, once you get this rhythm part down, if you wanna play a solo on top of it, this is gonna be really useful for you. So grab your copy, again, completely for free as my gift to you. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know your number one blues cut that I should cover here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. As always, thanks for your support with the videos. We'll see you in another one real soon.